Audio Jungle. The formation of normal shock we have seen last class. Now we will go for the properties across the normal shock or we can say thermodynamic thermodynamic properties across Normal shock. Okay. So here you can say this is what normal shock. Okay. And uh, what is the ten to power minus centimeter thickness? Okay. So <coughs> this is the order of thickness 10 power minus centimeter which is very thin but you know this is very uh, you know thermal conduction inside the this region it's a very uh, small uh, thickness it is very thin actually but uh, thermal conduction will be there and irreversible irreversibilities will happen because of irreversibilities it will be uh, uh, like across this uh, normal shock, we, we are not able to apply isentropic relation, all those things we had uh, seen last session. Now, I just want to show you the thermodynamic properties. So, it is now very clear when the shock will form, that shock will form when there is the supersonic flow that also we had seen last lecture. Okay, So, I can say this is the uh, flow here and uh, this is the flow behind the shock. Okay, This is the I had I had the shock or it is sometimes called upstream and this is the behind shock okay behind or sometimes it is called downstream okay downstream so I can say ahead of the shock the flow will be obviously it is supersonic then only you can say the uh, shock is what forms so it will be supersonic 100 percent if it is not supersonic then shock will not be observed okay so and uh, all the property i will write but uh, here by the mac number i'm just showing only mac is what m1 which is ahead of the shock so all the properties here it will be denoted by one which is ahead of the shock or upstream and point 2 is the behind shock so here the mac will be m2 so this mac m2 will be the value which is less than 1 means now it becomes subsonic okay now it becomes subsonic and this is supersonic so this is the uh, property of a normal shock also you can say uh, behind the normal shock always the flow will be subsonic so this is very clear m2 will be less than 1 even though m1 uh, it is supersonic it may be 2 3 4 5 anything but uh, m2 will be always less than 1 means it will be subsonic okay we cannot say m2 less than m1 no m1 is what suppose 3.2 and you can say m2 less than m1 means 1.2 not possible m2 will be subsonic okay which is less than 1 so how you can say it is subsonic i will show you uh, one result i will show you so uh, mathematical formulation you will see then it will be very clear i am just going to give one table which is called thermodynamic properties across the normal shock so here we have a normal shock this is the normal shock okay and the order of normal shock is what normal shock is 10 to power minus 5 centimeter okay it is irreversible phenomenon i explain about it last half irreversible phenomenon okay and <clears throat> obviously if it is irreversibility will be there then isentropic relation will not be used that also we had seen now i will give the table so what is the table we have here table for 
normal job okay so <clears throat> this table will be Okay. Right. Now <clears throat> you can say this is the ahead. Or upstream, upstream, which is point one, and it is. Super show me, okay. And this side it is downstream it is point two and this is about okay. Now <coughs> check here. The properties first I will show thermodynamic property which is nothing but P1 uh, or we start from Mach 1 also better M1 which will be ahead of the shock and M2 will be behind the shock flow velocity will be V1 which is ahead of the shock V2 will be behind the shock then we will have you can say Pressure which is nothing but T1 ahead of the shock, then temperature ahead of the shock, density ahead of the shock, okay. And uh, you can say then uh, pressure, temperature, density, and uh, entropy also you can say S1. Then you can say total temperature T01 and total pressure T01 which is ahead of the shock. Behind the shock it is P2. E2, row 2, S2 is the entropy, T02 and T03. Okay, this is the behind the shock. Always remember <coughs> this ahead of the shock is greater than 1 and behind the shock it is less than 1. What is the V1? V1, V1 is the flow velocity ahead to the shock and V2 is the behind the shock velocity and this velocity obviously Mach is what decreasing it means that velocity will also decrease which is nothing but V2. You can say V2 less than V1. Okay. Uh, in terms of Mach number you can say less than 1 but uh, in terms of velocity you say less than V1. Okay. And that value you have to calculate. P1, P2. So P2 is the pressure which is the Static pressure, okay. So after the shock, after the normal shock, pressure will be increasing. So it will be P2 greater than P1. Similarly, static temperature also will be increasing P1. Row 2 will because pressure and temperature is what increasing. Basically, pressure is what is increasing uh, drastically. So density will also greater than row 1. S2, which is the entropy, I told you this is the irreversible phenomenon. So entropy will increase. So S2 will be greater than S1. P02 that is the total temperature. This total temperature must be constant, which is P01. Okay. And and P02, which is the total pressure, there will be loss. Okay. And why there is the loss? It is because of the it, it is because of the uh, you can say fictional loss. I told you there is the thermal conduction, temperature will rise, entropy will rise. Okay, so there will be loss that I will tell you. I will show the result. Okay, so P not two will be less than P not one. So there is the pressure loss. All right. This is the table which is very important. Always remember. Okay. 
and <coughs> this is gate point of view very important in gate or one day exam they are asking so you remember this table first of all very important okay as i told you ahead of the shock flow will be the supersonic flow okay and behind the shock flow will be the uh, subsonic subsonic okay subsonic this you need to remember rest all the quantity here i have explained pressure temperature density entropy total temperature okay total pressure so this you need to take take care of it and all the quantity will be explained to you don't bother about it okay how directly came i will show the result also but full derivation i will suggest not required here but steps i will write okay <coughs> now <coughs> i told you this is uh, the like assumption if you go for the normal shock so i told that assumption that area across the uh, shock will be constant i mean what is the i had to the normal shock the area will be same as behind the normal shock so area will be constant across the shock okay and i told you it is irreversible phenomenon so uh, but process will be the adiabatic okay process will be the adiabatic adiabatic means there is no heat addition or there is no heat rejection okay and uh, like mass conservation momentum conservation that will work here energy conservation but especially formula is what derived for the normal shock and uh, whatever the assumption you are going to take for the normal shock here it is a steady flow okay now <coughs> all the governing equation you had seen last uh, last class no need to write again now i will show the result one very special result one marks question they can ask this is derived for the uh, shock okay especially for the normal shock called prandtl meyer equation what it is called prandtl meyer equation okay it is the prandtl prandtl meyer Prandtl-Meyer equation. Okay. So, <coughs> as I told you, this is for the normal shock. Okay. And what is the Prandtl-Meyer equation? The reason I told you, I will not derive here because it will take time. So, the result I will write here. This is nothing but A star. This is nothing but A star. Is equal to v1 v2 a star square v1 v2. This is called Prandtl Meyer equation. Okay. Now you can uh, simplify this a star into a star is equal to v1 v2. Okay. A star into v1 into a star. A star by v1 into a star by v2 is equal to one, or you can say a star v1 is equal to one upon a star by v2. All right. What is the a star by v1 by one upon a star by V2. Last class I told this is nothing but m1 star is equal to one upon m2 star. So, or this is also you can write m1 star into m2 star is equal to one. This is called Prandtl-Meyer equation. Okay. So, <coughs> this result you need to remember the full derivation. I am not deriving here. In four five steps, I have written the result. This is very important for one marks. They can ask question. Okay, you know very well what is the m one. M one is nothing but <coughs> Mach number, uh, which is ahead to the shock and behind the shock, and this is the characteristics Mach number. Okay, you can write here. Characteristics 
mic number i head to the talk characteristics mic number behind the shop okay this is very special now <clears throat> one more thing you can get here m1 star is equal to 1 upon m2 star or m2 star is 1 upon m1 star this result also showing this result is also showing mic number behind it is showing mic number mic number behind a normal shock behind a normal shock is always is always subsonic okay because m1 star you have whatever the value of m1 star you m2 will be 1 upon m1 that if you consider it is happening in supersonic then m2 will be less 1 upon something which is greater than 1 will be less m2 will be less than 1 so it is indicating mac number behind a normal shock is always sub shown okay i told you here in this table this will be proved here it is proved also another also i will show the result and you can recognize there so by the prandtl mayer equation this result itself explaining like behind a normal shock that uh, flow will be all uh, sub shonic always okay that you need to remember this is very important result now <coughs> again you can you know very well we know so uh, Two to three lines, two three lines, four lines. I will write for each formula, and directly I will do the result. Okay. So the result I will explain actually. I am not going to derive whole thing. That is not possible. Okay. So whatever the result I am getting, that result I will explain, and that you have to use directly for gate problems. Now I am just going to write. Relation between. Characteristic, characteristics mic number mic number m star and and actual mic number m is that result you need to recall already i had explained that result that relation between characteristics mic number and actual mic number okay it is square m star is square divided by 2 plus lambda minus 1 2 plus Now minus one, and so this result already I had discussed. Okay, so <coughs> this result already I have discussed. Now from here, okay, from this result you can check. I can. This is the one result which is already discussed. Okay, and this result always remember here they are asking question based on. so here now you can write you can write m star square i can write m star square and this m star is what 1 m1 so what we will get gamma plus 1 m1 square divided by 2 plus gamma minus 1 m1 square 
Yes or no? We can write. And how we can write? We can write from this result. Similarly, similarly we can write m star two m two star square is equal to what we can write gamma plus one m two square divided by two plus gamma minus one m two square. This is result two, and this is result. One okay. Now <clears throat> we know what we know. We know m one star is is equal to of oh, m one star is square is equal to also we can write one by m two star. Or simply you know that uh, m one star. Let me remove this by by making how this thing. So we know. See, m1 star. This is the Prandtl mirror. Just now I had written here m1 star is equal to one by m2 star. See here, m1 star is equal to one by m2 square, m2 star. So this result, you know, this is what the Prandtl. This is the Prandtl. Okay, Prandtl mirror result. No? That this is the Prandtl mirror result. Or Now, <coughs> m1 and m2 we can write in this format. M1 star is square to write this m2 star is square. We can write like this. So check this is the m2 star value here, and this is the m1 star value. You write this value, then you will get result between m1 and m2. So you can write. So. Relation between between M one M two across across normal shock. Understood how this result can develop? See, Prandtl mirror M one star is equal to one by M two star, and M two star M two star is where you have. Uh, written here and m1 star square also you have written here from the characteristics and natural math number relation okay now this result i am going to write directly you may have after doing that m2 star m2 square is equal to One plus gamma minus one by two m one square divided by gamma m one square minus gamma. This is the result between m one and m two. You understood how we will get that m one star value you can write from equation one and and m two star. The square value can write from equation two by equation one and two. Now, by equation one and two, if you do, then you will get this result. This is what m two square is equal to. What you will get, you can write this. Take calcium two gamma minus one and one square divided by two gamma. M1 square minus gamma minus one. Yes or no? I can write like this. So two <coughs> gamma M1 square minus gamma minus one. Okay. So <coughs> this result, what you got? This is very special and. Question based on this many times they had asked. Okay, in gate or one day exam, if soft few question will come then, then math you have to find from this relation of stream and down stream. Okay, you remember this formula? Two gamma m one square minus gamma. To write properly, I remember. Okay, 
this is very special formula where m1 is the upstream mac number and downstream mac number mic number i had to the normal shock wave msw mic number behind to the normal shock wave this form the unit remember okay remember this From this result, we can have m2 square is equal to 2 plus now minus 1 m1 square divided by 2 comma m1 square minus now minus 1. Take m1 square common, then what you will get? It's a 2 upon. 2 upon m1 square plus now minus 1 and if you take m1 square common here then it will be 2 gamma minus gamma minus 1 by m1 square ok if m1 approaches to infinite then what we have one m1 first you cut it okay then what we have 2 by m1 square plus gamma minus 1 divided by it will be 2 gamma minus if m1 approaches to infinite okay so this part will be 0 and this part will be 0 because something divided by infinite will be 0. So, what you may have you can say you may have m2 is equal to what you will have gamma minus 1 divided by 2 gamma. You need to remember this, okay? This is very special value sometimes. Then ask question. Okay, there should not be any confusion about it. <coughs> this is the one thing that what we have seen that is the relation between uh, I had Mac number and behind behind uh, Mac number of the shock. Now we want to get the relation between uh, density that is ahead to the shock and behind to the shock. So the relation you can write here. Relation between relation between <coughs> between density that is rho 1 and so to how to develop this you know mass or continuity equation a cost so that is know what was that rho 1 to v1 is equal to rho 2 to v2 right what is rho 2 by rho 1 rho 2 by rho 1 is nothing but v1 by v2 all right now <coughs> if you check 
how to get that v1 by v2 so i can write this v1 by v2 as it is i can write v1 by v2 and i can multiply v1 by v1 so what we will get v1 square divided by so v1 into this is what v1 square divided what is the v1 by v2 i told you this is front row mirror <coughs> what is v1 into v2 check v1 into v2 is nothing but this region which is called a star square a star square so v1 into v2 is nothing but a star square so you can say row 2 by row 1 which is nothing but v1 square divided by a star square velocity by area uh, it's not area sorry a speed of sound called Mach number here it is v1 as it is m1 star square agree this is called m1 star square so <coughs> what is the m1 star square check somewhere you have written m1 star square where here see this is the equation this is the m1 star square okay so the same value I can write here m1 star square value okay what is that it is nothing but recall that formula comma plus 1 m1 square divided by 2 plus gamma minus 1 m1 square okay <coughs> so the final result I will write here which is nothing but rho 2 by rho 1 this is also rho 2 by rho 1 is also nothing but v1 by v2 it is nothing but v1 by v2 once you solve this you will have a v1 square by a star square once you solve this you will have m1 star square you know m1 star square is nothing but now plus 1 m1 square divided by 2 plus gamma minus 1 this result is also very powerful okay this result is also very powerful check that rho 2 by rho 1 what we got here finally gamma plus 1 m1 square divided by 2 plus gamma minus 1 okay make a proper note of it mug of this formula remember always because you are going to write one day exam so for one day exam no derivation nothing only formula you have to practice and remember mug of it okay now if m1 approaches to infinite then what will happen see so take the m1 common here m1 is square and what you will get uh, gamma plus 1 as it is divided by take m1 square common and what you will have it is 2 upon m1 square plus gamma minus 2 okay so check what you will get rho 2 by rho 1 is equal to because the amount approaches to infinite, so first this value will be cancelled out. M1 square and M1 square cancel out. But once M1 approaches to zero uh, infinite, then this value will also zero. So what you may have, you may have why I am doing this, uh, you will get that. Okay, they, they have asked in gate, they have asked this value. Now plus one divided by now. Please remember, okay. This value also will be remember. And in fact, V1 by V2 also I will write. V1 by V2. The same result you have seen, which is nothing but V1 by V2 is nothing but uh, root 2 by rho, which is nothing but gamma plus 1 divided by gamma minus 1. This result for what? For m1 
approaches to infinite. One. Once M1 approaches to infinite, this is only one Alright. So you have developed relation between the M1, M2, V1, V2, Rho2, Rho1. Now, we will develop relation very important which is called pressure. Pressure across. Now we will go for the pressure <coughs> result which is the relation between between pressure that is P1 and you are aware with the P1 and P2 right P1 is the pressure ahead to the shock and P1, P2 is the pressure behind the shock. Okay, how to <coughs> get this result? In short, we know. In my first uh, class of this normal shock, I explained momentum equation. We know. momentum equation across NSW which is called normal shock. What I had given, I said, I said this is what normal shock, very thin, this is normal shock wave and here the I had to the shock velocity is V1, behind the shock velocity is V2, okay. And uh, mic is what M1 and mic is what M2 and pressure is what P1 and pressure is what P2. So to write the equation of momentum equation, so it is nothing but if you remember P1 plus Rho 1 V1 square is equal to here you can write Rho 1 also from here. So Rho 1 density and Rho 2 density. I had and be nice. So P1 plus Rho 1 V1 square is equal to P2 plus Rho 2 V2 square. This was the momentum equation. Yes or no? Use this equation. If you use this equation, what you will get? P1 plus Rho 1. So V1 square is equal to P2 plus rho 2 V2 square. Okay. I am interesting in P1 and P2 relation, so I will take one side P2 minus P1. This will be what? Rho 1 V1 square minus rho 2 V2 square. Or also you can do you can take common of rho 1 V1 here. Then what you will get? You will get because you know that uh, rho 1 v1 is equal to rho 2 v2. Yes or no? Okay, I will write like this rho 1 v1 is equal to rho 2 v2. So, if you check rho 1 v1 into v1 minus rho 2 v2 into v2. If you take common of rho 1 v1, so what you will get? v1 here. And this is rho 2 v2 and you know rho 2 v2 is nothing but rho 1 v1. So you can, you have taken rho 1 v1 common here. So what will be inside? It will be v2 only. Agree? There should not be any doubt. Now, I can take rho 1. So v1, I can take common. So what will be the v1? It will be 1 minus v2 by v1. Alright. <coughs> now, here I can write both sides P2 minus P1 is divided by P1. So this will be what rho 1 V1 is square divided by P1. Okay, in bracket it is 1 minus V2 by V1. <coughs> now you know very well what is this rho 1 V1 by P1. <coughs> if you check what is the rho 1 by P1 or uh, 
that uh, uh, speed of sound if you remember what is the speed of sound the speed of sound if you recall it was is equal to gamma p e by rho so what is the p e by rho p e by rho is nothing but it is a square by gamma okay so here you can write rho 1 by p1 so it is rho by p hence you can write gamma by a square so what you can write it's a rho 1 by p1 so it will be gamma by a1 square into v1 square in bracket 1 minus v2 by v1 in short i am doing this okay p2 minus p1 is equal to p1 gamma what is given by a1 it is m1 square in bracket 1 minus v2 by v1 v2 by v1 all right what you got now you got you got here p2 minus p1 divided by p1 is equal to what you got gamma m1 square in bracket 1 minus v2 by v1 it is gamma m1 square 1 minus what is the v2 by v1 check here from here you have written here what is the rho 2 by rho 1 it is v1 by v2 so what is the v2 by v1 just reverse it yes or no so v2 by v1 will be 2 plus gamma minus 1 m1 square divided by gamma plus 1 m1 square you may write that that so that equal that i will not solve but i will write here so v2 by v1 is nothing but 2 plus gamma minus 1 m1 square divided by it is gamma plus 1 m1 square so this equation I am not going to solve because it is not required. Directly result I will write here. Okay. So if you solve this, you will get P2 by P1. Okay. If you solve this Sebo equation, then you will get P2 by P1 is equal to 1. Or one more uh, line I will write better. Yeah? So this P2 by P1, this equation will be P2 by P1 minus. 1 yes or no is equal to what you will get that result i will write it will be 2 gamma upon gamma plus 1 and in bracket it is m1 square minus 4 so what will be the p2 by p1 it will be 1 plus 2 gamma upon gamma plus 1 this is the result here. Okay, this is very powerful result, very powerful result. And uh, question they are asking based on this formulation. Okay, p2 by p1, very frequent question they are asking. So please remember this. Okay. All right. So. <coughs> one thing which is called p2 minus p1 this result okay this result what you have written here this result called delta p by p1 yes or no p2 minus p1 you can write delta p okay you can write p2 minus p1 by p1 which is nothing but delta p by p1 and this delta p by p1 called shock strength what it is called shock strength it happens sometimes they will ask shock strength so that time you should know delta p by p1 okay this is very powerful <coughs> delta p by p1 called shock strength okay this formula I told here and this is very important now if m approaches to infinite then 
So you have P2 by P1 is equal to 1 plus 2 gamma gamma plus 1 m1 square minus 1. If this m1 approaches to infinite, then what is the P2 by P1? This is also they are asking in your exam. No? Because something you will add in an infinite, it will give you infinite only. Yes or no? This is very frequently they are asking in gate. So pressure ratio also you got. Okay. Up to here it is clear. Right? Now we will go for the temperature ratio. So we will go for the temperature ratio. So we will write here relation. between T1 and T2. What is T1 and T2? It is the temperature ahead to the shock and behind the shock. Okay. That very <coughs> popular that thermodynamic uh, relation you know what is that? T2 by T1 is equal to T2 by T1 into by go to how it comes comes p is equal to rho r by this formula p1 by p2 is equal to rho by rho into r r cancel out t1 by so t2 by t1 will be p2 by p1 into rho by rho yes or no what is the t2 by t1 check here also direct result I will write P2 by P1 is 1 plus 2 gamma upon gamma plus 1 in bracket M1 square minus 1. Okay. And uh, what is the row 2 by row 1 or row 1 by row 2? See what we have written row 1 by row 2 or row 2 by row 1 here. Yeah. I think row 2 by row 1 we have written. So row 1 by row 2 also we can write. It's it, it just uh, reverse the by row. Okay. So this value I will write row 1 by row 2. So, this result I will write row 1 by row 2 directly here. So, row 1 by row 2 is nothing but can say it is row 2 by row 2 by row 2 you had to admit to go to my own. So, row 1 by row 2 is what? That value will be yours. Alright. So, this value will be yours. Okay. So, this is nothing but 2 plus 2 plus gamma minus 1 m1 square divided by gamma plus 1 m1 square not going to solve because this is a very lengthy equation so you can try by your own if you want directly the result i'm going to write so this result is p2 by p1 is equal to it is nothing but if you write this so it is uh, Or else, you better you write in the same format because if you go for the calculation, it will uh, you know very lengthy only. So we just keep this value in the same format. That will be better. Okay. So t2 by t1 you can calculate when m1 approaching towards infinite. That you can do. Alright. So because this pressure is what once m1 approaches to Infinite pressure term will be zero. P2 by P1 infinite into something again it will give infinite. So that value I'm going to write directly here. Okay, this will also be infinite. That you need to remember. Okay, so this type of analysis they are asking. So in the exam directly the value will ask to you. So if you know the formula, then you will be able to find this. But if you already you have done suppose one time, then you will remember okay for m1 infinite t2 by t1 infinite or you know 
for a mole infinite that uh, 2 by p1 will be infinite like that <coughs> all right fine so <coughs> this one is done similarly you can uh, write the entropy also that uh, uh, entropy you know the basic formula okay that basic formula you know uh, what it is uh, it is the entropy relation so next relation will develop generate this is called relation between between s1 and s2 what is s1 and s2 it is entropy Okay, so very basic formula in thermodynamics. You might have seen that basic formula, which is nothing but S2 minus S1 is equal to Cp Rn P2 by P1 minus R Ln. P2 by P1. In this entropy, you have two, three formats. I mean, in terms of density ratio, also you can write, but temperature and pressure ratio I am writing. That final result you can write like this H2 minus S1, you will have Cp ln. What is the T2 by T1? If you all that T2 by T1, so it will be 1 plus. 2 gamma minus 1 okay gamma m1 square plus 1 this is what gamma plus 1 whole square and this is what m1 square m1 square minus 1 minus r ln is 1 plus 2 gamma gamma plus 1 m1 square minus if you solve t2 by t1 this relation here I told you this relation t2 by t1 include the product and all you will get this result ok now this is the final result for the entropy also ok so <coughs> now for, uh, so all the relation if you check there t2 by p1 see even the p2 by p1 p2 by from uh, we can start from this uh, rho 2 by rho 1 right check this rho 2 by rho 1 where it is see this rho 2 by rho 1 whatever the result if you get here that value will be greater than 1 if it might make is greater than 1 then rho 2 by rho 1 value will be greater than 1 that means rho 2 greater than rho 1 okay Similarly, here also in the P2 by P1, it is already 1 plus something, even M1, whatever value you will write greater than 1, something you will get, and again that value will be get, what, uh, it, it will be added with 1, means it all it is already become greater than 1. So P2 by P1 greater than 1 means P2 will be greater than P1. That table I had shown you, so from that I told you the table will be verified by the formula. P2 by P1, this, this value, if you also if you check here t2 by t1 so whatever the uh, final result you can check you see something here this is the t2 by t1 1 plus something so something if you add here if it with 1 so it will be greater than 1 hence t2 by t1 is greater than 1 hence t2 greater t2 greater than t1 similarly t2 t2 uh, and uh, rho 2 all are greater than uh, p1 t1 and rho 1 respectively okay so uh, and, and and in the same thing entropy also if you check this result also what you have written here s2 minus s1 again if you calculate this value that s2 minus s1 will be greater than 1 and uh, s2 greater than s1 always it means entropy will rise that that's the mean of it okay that's the mean of it okay s2 greater than s1 or if i will write here it is also better s2 greater than s1 this is the conclusion for this formula Similarly, the conclusion for this formula also P2 is greater than P1. You can recognize by yourself only. Okay. 
here also it is what t2 greater than t1 okay here also this uh, row 2 greater than row 1 okay row 2 greater than row 1 or you can say v1 greater than v2 because it is opposite no? see just row 2 by row 1 is v1 by v2 so v1 greater than v2 or you can say v2 less than v1 so this is the conclusion all the formulation you have now okay temperature pressure density velocity mac 1 m1 m2 s1 s2 that entropy also that result you have seen now this one you need to write for all the formula okay you need to write ratio for for m1 approaches to infinite if gamma is air which is nothing but 1.4 this value they are asking in your in your exam okay so please remember so <clears throat> first we will start from m2 what i have written m1 approaches to infinite okay if you want you can uh, uh, write this also which is called limit limit is m1 approaches to infinite then what will be the value of m2 it will be see what was the m2 here what was the m2 this is the direct value they are asking in exam okay so where is m2 uh, root gamma minus 1 by 2 gamma yes or no? root gamma minus 1 by 2 gamma so direct this value you can write here root gamma minus 1 by 2 gamma for air 1.4 minus 1 divided by 2 into 1.4 if you calculate this 0.377 which is nothing but sub similarly I will take now row 2 by row 1. What is the row value of row 2 by row 1? If I have taken that time, it is gamma plus 1 divided by gamma minus 1. Gamma plus 1 divided by gamma minus 1 which is it's a shift ok all value need to remember third it is nothing but p2 by p1 that already there I told P2 by P1 will be infinite here because M1 is infinite and something will be added to infinite will be infinite. So it is infinite. Similarly, limit M1 approaches to infinite and what will be the P2 by P1? So this value will also be these results are very specific remember it is for m1 infinite and this is for air this all value is for air if the gamma they will change then this value will change so always remember okay fine 